So if there's anyone who took the time to listen to my last upload, I testified that the Lord woke me and told me who another angel was because yesterday I asked him, this morning he told me, and I do have to do a lot of numbers in Hebrews to confirm it, but it was through one of Jason's songs. There's no accidents or mistakes that I've been playing him through the night since I went to the glory hut. Never heard of him before, and the Lord showed me him, and I basically had him on Spotify and have been playing him for nearly two and a half years. And the, the songs open up as revelation and prophetic, and I thought he was an eagle on my back. I believe he is. And I had no idea until this morning that he was an angel of a church. So there's confirmations. I want to play this. This is him teaching. It's the first thing that came up when I was uploading that last post. But I just want to play what he says here to start with. And then I will show you what happened to me when I was just googling the churches and asking the Lord which one is it and ticking the boxes of the ones I found take us to the new place one of the great and just give me five more minutes I'm sorry I take it so long because the worship was longer and, and, and then I have to like speak so slow I, I speak like John Wayne sometimes. I mean, it's like I even listen to myself. I understand it. Okay, I'm going to go back to that. What did he say? I speak like John Wayne. Now, if you have a look at my thumbnail while I'm talking, you'll know that that was the last thing up. And then this come up. I have looked for Jason Upton over the last two and a half years, and I only found one clip of him ever speaking. Now, these are here. This is a year ago, so I'm hearing him as a teacher in the church. I don't have a position in the church, yet I'm an angel. The Lord is using this man who has a ministry. I have those on my back who have ministry, who are called out ones in the church. So don't bag the whole church. Now, let's go to my history. I will go back to Jason. I pray that I can play him and you don't have to listen to me because he's heard my message. I can hear it. And I've heard his. Now, I said to Mark, he can testify that I jumped into bed yesterday thinking I had a day off from people wanting to see the pups. And then this horrid lady, while I was in bed needing sleep, watching this movie here, I posted it <laughs> to Mark. Mark, will you please testify? And I said to Mark, I'm eating a crunchy bar. Last night when I went and got cigarettes, I bought a crunchy bar. It's the crunchy gold train. There's gold here, he said. There's gold here. I came to the mountain. I saw and I heard. I'm coming down because the angel of the angel, the, the angels of God, the angel, God's angel army, the heavenly host, are ready to go into battle. You need to know who they are. Of course, said the angels to the church. They are the ones with the message to get the church ready. So, who did Jason say he was? What was I watching on TV that looked like just entertainment? It's just, and it's never just entertainment for an angel. The Lord speaks to, to them in everything. The Lord turns everything up. And if you haven't got the time to hear their testimony, then you are an idiot. Because your Latin stand will be taken. And Jesus did not lie about that. Look at the reward. I've done a study on that angel. I'll just, I will read it. But I really don't want to take away from the message. I've never sat and listened 
been under his ministry, only his music. This is what the Lord showed me. Why is he? You think I was going to give up a chance like this? I'm going to give these to Mr. Wayne personally. Now, do you think he'll be in here for lunch? Well, he usually is, but... So why do you think Lucy is wanting to talk to John Wayne? Lucifer, he knows who the angels are. We're the fools who don't. Lucy, like the movie, where the sperm comes from the sky, the spark of life. How we enter. Jonathan Clegg showed us that. I'm always looking for a Lucy. Did you know that Jason Upton called his daughter Lucy? And I've testified and written in my books. I wonder why Jason called his daughter Lucy. I wonder why Jason released a song where Lucy was a baby singing and then another one where she's a beautiful 16 radiant daughter like mine were are if you see them with God's eyes <laughs> but his is and she's singing with him and he released a video called um, write everything down are you listening because I started writing things down before I knew who he was so I'm listening to the same spirit are you listening listen to Lucifer Um, John Wayne is like my Clint Eastwood. See? He turned up the heroes. God is so good. I don't know if I need to play it. Can I link it? Can I just link it so that I can get back to the angel and the testimony? We'll just play a couple of seconds. Anyway, I got interrupted from watching this. A lady said, oh, I need to come and see the puppies today. And, I, and even though I'd said it's Friday and it was Thursday, so the Lord knew what to do. So I got busy. I didn't walk the dogs. I got the place real tidy. I shampooed the dogs because I, it, <laughs> I can't, I need to home the dogs. And they're smelly, scruffy looking dogs. And it was hard work. I enjoyed it. But I was waiting for her. And she's Lucifer. She picks you up. She drops you. Six o'clock, she says. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get back to you. We've decided not to go for a dog yet. That's not the one that I'm going to show you without an eye. Or the one that talks to me with the scorpion tail just like Jonathan Click showed on her Facebook. I'll get to that later because this is the most important thing that you could find. This is gold. I feel like Jonathan Click and I rebuke him for saying that dreams and hearing the Holy Spirit the way Jason and I do are not equivalent to what he's been shown. He has, yes he has, the Church of Philadelphia. There's no rebuke to them, and, and that's true. And the Lord said, because of John I have a patu, but there are other churches. And just because they need to be rebuked doesn't mean that those that come out of those churches aren't equal or greater in the kingdom than the Church of Philadelphia. And my personal feeling, because I understand the message of all the angels, is that the first fruits are those that have heard all seven. So have a look at them, and I'm showing you four. Are you listening? 
I'm showing you four now. I could only show you three yesterday. But all I did was ask. He said you have not because you ask not. Ask the right questions, get the right answers. How sneaky she is. That's how they enter. They'll come in. Look what she does. Because she has a crush. There you are, sir. Thank you. Anything else I can get for you, sir? No, I'm fine. Howdy. Hi. I'm Lucy Carmichael. Oh, well, uh, uh. I'm John Wayne. Can you see the chivalry in those characters? Clinton and John Wayne. I just want to show you a wee bit at the end. Yeah, well, I'll show you. He, he, is, he is really gracious towards her. She is such an idiot. And it's so funny. I know you probably think it's not, but anyway, she ends up getting backstage. And she gets, she gets on set. And then she starts writing the script. That is such a double up. You know this is the Lord God giving you insight into Lucy. She starts writing the script. Have a look. No wonder I missed it. There's a page missing. Oh, a page missing. Oh, oh maybe that's my fault. Perhaps this is a page. She gave me the script. Is that the one? That's the one. <laughs> well, uh, there's uh, an autograph. Thing, I was supposed to say, uh, here you and your boy's been looking for. You said that, didn't you? And he says, that's right, Todd. And you say, well, now you can stop looking and start talking. And he says, reckon I ain't fixing to be to be seen talking to no jailbird. And then you say, you mouth off like that again, you'll be a dead man. Oh, I got it. I'll remember. Now. Listen, Mr. Wayne. I uh, I think it would be better if you said you mouth off like that again and you'll be pushing up Daisy. Pushing up Daisy. Now yes. please, miss, we've got wait a minute, Joe. I like pushing up daisies better. All right, pushing up daisies. So you need to hear his voice. You need to hear his voice. Cause he's coming on in there. He's in your head. What did Nomad say? Oh my my, he's in my head, she's in my head, she's in my head. Oh my my, she's in my head, she's in my head, she's in my head. And why do you think they're running from dead men? She's running, from, they're running from dead men. Ghouls. It's a love story, so why are they doing that? Look, why do I say it's this church? Let me read it. To the angel of the church of Lacedaire, which I can't even say. And I have not studied the churches. I've studied the Lord, or he studied me, and I've listened to the results <laughs> and believed them, because he's right. I'm wicked. These are the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the originator of God's creation. He's the original. Don't listen. Even Jonathan Clerk doesn't realize that. When they have the Adidas originals. Well he does but he hasn't said it. So he needs to listen to the church. The angels as well. Instead of being so cocky and sitting on his chair. Turning around twiddling his thumbs. When I show him something coming down from the sky. Which is going to happen. I know your deeds. You are neither hot nor cold. Now I wish you were one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to oh. vomit you out of my mouth. Reminds me of Rick Joyner's vision. The hordes of hell are marching. 
so that's the enemy on top of them the vultures on these on the on the um, persecuted church and now the Lord has just shown me who the other angel is who's the persecuted church go and have a look that word go and have a look who's the persecuted church and what's on top of them the mean the vultures vomiting now I know that one too I'm about to vomit you out of my mouth you say I am rich I have grown wealthy and need nothing but you do not realize that you are wretched pitiful poor blind and naked counsel you to buy from me gold the gold trail did I not tell you what the gold meant and I was eating a crunchy ad when I saw a crunch, not a crunch, might as well be a crunchy ad, a Cadbury ad. You know the one with the gorilla? Plays, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. And breathes like Satan's date, 2020. Is it making sense? You know God. Jesus said he's eating a banana watching, don't you? He's watching over you. It's one of Jason's songs. You can't hide. It's all out there now. I counsel you to buy me gold, refined by fire, so that you may become rich. White garments. There we go. We're talking to Sardis. He knows this. So that you may be clothed in your shameful nakedness. I spoke about shame. We're talking to, talking as a message to Ephesians Church. I talked about shame nakedness not exposed and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may that's your eyes your vision <laughs> don't know why i keep saying because it's all happened at christmas <laughs> are we on the door that's not his is it Wow. Wow, he talks about the door. This is him. So that you may. See, I don't know this. I think this is it. Is it 19? Yes, it is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Those I love, I rebuke and discipline. Therefore, be earnest and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Is that not Philadelphia? <clears throat> they know the message of all the churches, but they bring one distinct one. Try and find out what it is and get the gold. My voice, if you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and dine with him and he with me. That's your banquet. I've got that one. To the one who overcomes, I grant the right to sit with me on my throne just as I overcome and sat down with my father on his throne so there you go to the one who overcomes and another version is conquer they use conquer all the way through the churches or overcomes I don't know what this is so do you want to do that <laughs> because if you don't hear the message you will not sit with me on my throne you won't be the man on that cross and you will not know the middle partition who Jesus is who brings the two together that's flex message make the right as your left and the left is the right how Peter who's who he called the rock though maybe the boulders that I'm picking up my son and I are picking up how he chose to die to testify of the system upside down upside down turn it up oops listen to what you get here i mean it is about what's in it for me it is i'm really hungry i grant the right to sit with me on my throne just as i overcome and sat down with the father they are the ones who are going to help take this end time horde horde army he who has an ear let him hear 
And this is in bold. Do you want this? Do you desire this? He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Now I'm going to show you how I found it, just after um, I was unloading, or uploading. <laughs> I'm unloading and then uploading. These are the churches. It was even hard just to find the churches. This is someone's spell on the churches. It's not what the Lord's showing us. Ephesus, that's me. Now there's this one, and there's this one, and there's Sardis. We know who that is. And I did a wee Freudian slip. This is the way I did it correct. I corrected myself at 10.22. I'm not sure if I did it within a minute because I'm pretty quick. But that's the correct ticks. See? Because I'm dyslexic and I get my numbers wrong, something's wrong with me. I've got five degrees, guys. My son Joshua has turned around and said that he reckons he's got ADT, DD, slipped through the cracks. They gave us vaccinations. But it doesn't matter. The Lord said he will turn it up. He said... Like, it, it's the creative miracles happening already. He uses the foolish things of this world to confine the wise. Or confound. 10.22. They are the correct ticks. But I made a mistake. I ticked it like that. Uh-oh. I've got one for Philadelphia in this church at the bottom. And that's at 10.22 too, so I can't prove it. So I was real quick, because I fixed it. See, I corrected it. Did I? Yeah, because there's no tick there. Same time, within the minute. That's how quick he is. There we go. Now we have the correct ticks. Uh, <coughs> I can just trust that you will watch this. This is a bad teaching, but it says, it shows you what, you know, because many people are coming in, they've never been in the church, and I've never listened to any, I've never looked, I've never come under hardly anyone's teaching. But this is what apparently they're saying. So are angels of the churches of Revelation, one to three, real angels or human messengers? Human messengers. I saw an angel, but I knew it was a man. So he's correct. Saw that answer well yeah that's does he have the answer let's find out john the apostle sees the glorified jesus in a vision jesus is standing among seven golden lampstands in his hand jesus holds seven stars in verse 20 jesus explains the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my hand are the seven golden lampstands this is the seven stars at the of are the angels of the seven churches, the seven lampstands, which you saw in the seven churches. That's a good version where it says candlesticks. They've changed it. Anyone who's in the spirit can see that. It's not candlestick. It's the menorah. It's the lampstands with seven candles on it. That's what the Lord showed me when he showed me a picture of click above a lampstand in a beautiful frame, in a museum, and between the lampstand and him, with the glory. The glory. You got it? So lampstands is good. Stick with that one. Don't let them confuse you. And jumble our word. They're jumbling God's word, but it never actually changes. If you're sealed and you have the word of God on your heart and you've been given a heart of flesh, then you're going home. If you haven't, then you're hard, Pharisee, and he calls you a serpent and a viper. The meaning of the lampstands is this. They represent the seven churches of Asia Minor. We know that the lampstands is intended to give light, which is truth. The people of God both. The meaning is plain. Yeah? Well, let's see if he knows. They represent the seven churches of Asia Minor. I've read that. Light. Jesus told his followers that they were the light of the world. It's all true. Paul told the church in Philippi that they were seen as lights in the world. That's true. Since Jesus is the true light of the world, that's true. 
It makes sense that he is standing among the lampstands. That's true. He's here. Kingdom of God's here. And silly me took my power out. Oh, glory, would you stop the slopping? See, that's why the dogs were farting last night, because I sat inside waiting for this lady, and they hadn't been to the toilet. Anyway, as soon as I realised she's she was she wasn't coming we went out for a lovely walk and they come back filthy and i had to give them all baths fire sat here shivering since jesus is the true light of the world john dun 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 that he is standing among the lamps yes praise god he is the light shed abroad by the church has come from him of course the stars held in jesus hand are his light bearers oh that's a dirty word Ooh, but can he turn it up? Did they steal it? I think they did. What's Lady Liberty? What's Lucifer? Light bearer. He's holding angels. He's trapping them. But it's our word. It's like the morning star that Rick brings. He's not the morning star. Jesus is. He's the light bearer, not Venus, Lucifer, and Hilding and the Barbaras. Just... It's just the opposite. It's their Messiah. It's their time. It's not ours. Dun, 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 However, the meaning of the angels is less plain. The Greek word angelos, angelos, which is number 32, which is what was on my pink, uh, white PVC fence in the house that was rebuilt after the shaking in Christ Church. And was the most expensive thing I put in that house. At nearly five grand. And I spent a lot of money on this tiny little number. And the number of the house is 32. Angelos. Angels. Simply meant messenger. Usually the word was used for supernatural messengers. From God. However, this is where we might be going off. Sometimes the word as applied to human mess messengers of God. John the Baptist is called Angelus. I never knew that. That is awesome. Some scholars interpret the angels of Revelation 1.20 as heavenly beings. Well, that's true. Others view them as human messengers. Well, that's true. Who bore John's letter? Others identify because it was John who bore the letter. But he doesn't know that John was an angel, does he? Others identify them as those who actually read the message to the congregations, that is, church leaders, as, a, as such as pastors, elders, and bishops. Well, that one's been blown out the window. Um, Billy D and I aren't church leaders, or never is Clegg, but Jason is, and good on him. I'm glad we've got someone that's in there. But he has very small congregations, have you noticed? And he doesn't have many likes or followers. Church leaders as such, whatever. It's the elders, it's the elders, it's the deacons that have done things to me in church. Like, it's like a game of, you know when you're playing netball and someone gets up in front of you and tries to defend so you don't get the ball? And you know how uh, Obama played basketball after he talked about the promised land as book <laughs> the lord's just shown me that but this is more important well that's what the deacons did to me in church when i tried to go up to the altar they purposely stood in front of me and had their arms out to stop me from going up because it there was something wrong with being that hungry and they didn't want me to feel, be filled with more glory and make them look bad yeah of course the church split mm. not me but I mean, I didn't mean nothing to them. I was just a prodigal. I was. I must have been in witchcraft. Must have been the Candelini spirit. Hey, Chad, who has no fucking idea. Who's the one in the corner? I hope you're listening. On the domain, in the corner, an erect building with his guns and weapons ready. When the Lord's supposed to, have, he prepared you for something else, but you're not listening. To the church, to the angels. Sorry. It's not really my message. I'm supposed to be sharing what Jason's got to say. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
Now, if the angels of the seven churches are heavenly beings, then that would perhaps mean that each church had a guardian angel. Oh, wow, that's really new age. I'm not a guardian angel. That's not how it works. Although, is the word guardian in there? Do a study. Or some type of heavenly being associated with each congregation. They're still looking in the natural, aren't they? But it is heavenly. There is difficulty with this interpretation. John was writing the letters to them. Why should he write letters to angels? A duh. Because John is an angel. I don't know, that's really hard to turn up that one, but were the letters going to be read to the congregations by celestial beings? Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes. But he says that is highly doubtful. So be careful. <laughs> be very careful. Let's hear from Hello. You wanted to come in? Good boy. Look, he looks lovely. He's been shampooed with my shampoo. Pantene. Yeah. Because I haven't got any dog shampoo. Right, we're staying away from the sausage festival because uh, the witness 144,000 are virgins. So you can forget about fucking between now and then. If you want to, fine. You made your choice. I'm not missing it. Now, and it doesn't mean I'm not faithful to my husband. Of course I am. I love him. I'll hug him forever. Now, let's listen to Jace. I love him. Oh, this is why we have to listen to Jace. Okay, so I will play it. I haven't got much left, so we're just going to play a bit of his message that testified because when I was, oh, when I was doing that study, he was preaching. I understand it, but, but just. He was preaching, and it, it, you want to get under it. I'm going to get under it after I post this and encourage you to get under it. And he says exactly what I read, and that's how come I know as well. Besides the fact that I made a mistake when I was doing the ticking, and yesterday I was watching John Wayne. All right? Got, you got me? And I did ask the question. I do expect an answer. And uh, basically, you better, you better just, you've got, if you've got questions, you better start writing them down and asking them because time is short. And he says, write every day down. Thank God. Thank God, he says, when he sings that song with Lucy. Thank God for Mary, for Moses, for, I, for J Abraham, that they wrote everything down, or Moses or whoever. He has the odd slip up. He thinks that, for instance, he thinks that in his song Travelling, he thinks that Mother Teresa is going to be there. She is not there. The Lord told me, and I wonder why he told me that, so I can discern. None of us are perfect yet. Doesn't mean we're not the messenger to the church. He's writing. So James... So gorgeous. But beautifully, you know, Yancey tells this story so helpful to us. Oh, none of us said yes. We all said, no, oh, we're busy. We didn't know who he was. All these things. And then he says, but of course, Henry. Crazy Henry says, if you want to learn to be a writer, James, why don't you come live with me? So he comes up to daybreak in Toronto and lives with the community for a month and a half. And the first thing that Nowen did was he said, what I want you to do today is I want you to you come to Mass, you pray the prayers, get on the rhythms, and then I want you to spend a few hours every day just writing. So James comes back to Henry with his great like thoughts and work, you know, and writing. Hands it to Henry. Henry, there's red all across all the things that he thought was great, right? Why are you crossing out all this? That was amazing, Henry. Can you hear it? You're never going to learn how to write if you're trying to write something great. Don't try to write something great. Just write. Scribe.
See? Can you hear it? But what we do is we lock worship so much into an expression. We're terrified. We don't learn how to write. And we even can lock ourselves in such a way that I find with a lot of artists, you get I'm an artist. writer's block because you're trying to write something within a particular... I'm even sometimes trying to write the songs that I've already written. And so I'm just stuck because I'm trying to write myself. I'm trying to write what I've already written. And it's like, oh! <laughs> you just keep trying. You get the point. And you may not. And there's grace for that too, because half the time I don't get the point. I get it. I want to walk with you. Oh, I and I want that. the activity of your worship experience to make its way into your expression. I believe that we're living in a time that we're going to see an explosion of expression. Yes. I don't believe that we have to... Well, I believe that we're going to see an explosion because I believe we're going to see... Prophet. More activity in worship coming. I feel like we've, we've come to a certain place with Prophet. expression. Prophet. And, and, and even the greatest among us of worship leaders knows that there are things that are missing. There's courage that's missing to take us to the new place. One of the great, and just give me five more minutes. I'm sorry I've taken so long. Five minutes. The worship was longer and, and, and then I have to like speak so slow. I, I speak like John Wayne sometimes. I mean, it's like I even listen to myself and I understand it. But, but just, just give me just, and I don't want to, yeah, this is your Sunday. So. I don't know if he says I wish. He has to say I wish. But I've wanted to say this because I don't think anybody else is really going to talk about it, frankly. When you hear him, listen for what I wish. right now about narcissism I wish. Worship. And I think there's a lot of truth to it. There's, there's so much me-centered worship, I suppose, in some ways. But the half-truth about a lot of times what's being said from the sound waves of Facebook and things like this is that you can eradicate narcissism by taking the word I out of your worship. That just, that just doesn't sit for me. Good because you're going to have to eradicate most of the psalms to take I out of your worship. That doesn't work. But there's something true about it because narcissism isn't the goal of our lives as followers of Jesus. I got called a narcissist. The problem isn't I am. By my husband's lawyer. The problem isn't finding God alone in all things and then bringing that to your expression. The the problem isn't yeah. the worship that Jesus calls us to is not watch me, follow me. No, the worship that Jesus calls us to isn't even songs about following Jesus. The worship that Jesus calls us to is following Jesus. Let our song arise alive with oh. that kind of activity. Yes, running, running. The problem with trying to take the eye is you're trying to create this scientific, yeah, just keep it all about God. Just keep it all about God. Oh, God. God. So a bunch of kids just got shot out of school down the road, and we almost don't even, we, we could never write a song about that and lament. Why? Because there's not enough I am in our worship, that's why. Why, why is I am? I want to feel the pain of God for that. Why is that happening within our communities? And then we're going to, we're going to, no, no, no. We're not just going to escape and go, God, you're so amazing, even though that happened. So sorry. We're praying for you. Oh, God, you're amazing. Let's ignore the pain. No, 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 no. And it's not, let's worship pain. This is what Merton said. He said, you know, we don't worship and pray and long for pain and suffering. To, just to be clear, 
Suff to long for suffering, to believe in suffering, is his exact words, is pride. But to find and believe in God in the midst of 